الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل اللحظة من لساني يفقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته brothers and sisters Today insha'Allah we will continue with our discussion and study of the Quranic miracles Today's examples are all under the theme of the origin of water. So before we go into the specific ayat from the 18th juz of the Quran, let's talk a little bit about what scientists theorize the origin of water on earth actually is. So a lot of uh, recent scientific discovery has led to the belief that water actually didn't originate on the earth itself. Water actually did not originate on the earth itself. Rather, water actually came to the earth in the form of comets or asteroids, right? So, you know, and there have been a lot of different studies that have tried to prove this fact, you know, trying to study the, the components of the asteroids and how that is similar to the water that we find on earth and so on and so forth. And it all led up to a recent scientific discovery in January of 2018, where researchers reported that they found two 4.5 billion year old meteorites on Earth. And these meteorites actually contain water. So this again reinforced the idea that water actually came from these meteorites and not from the Earth itself. So let's see what the Quran says about this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the 18th juz, Surah Mu'minun, chapter number 23, verse number 18. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, bismillahir rahman ar-rahim. Wa anzalna min as-sama'i ma'am biqadarin fa'askannahu fil ard. Wa inna ala dhahabin bihi laqadirun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And we sent down water. Wa anzalna min as-sama'i ma'am biqadarin we sent down water from the heaven in proper measured amounts and we caused it to settle upon the earth make earth its dwelling and we are able to take it away so let's look at the wording in this ayah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَأَنزَلْنَا, that we sent down water right so if something is being sent down if something is being sent from one place to another, it makes sense that at the destination, that thing doesn't actually exist. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending water from the heavens and causing it to dwell and make its a home earth. Causing earth to become its dwelling. So from this verse, we can see that this principle that water actually didn't originate from earth but rather it was sent down from elsewhere in the form of comets and so on and so forth as scientists theorize. So that verse highlights the fact that water didn't originate on earth, but it doesn't really give us specifics of how, in what form the water actually came to earth. Well, we can look at a different verse. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the 24th chapter, verse number 43, this is Surah An-Nur in the 18th juz. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alam tara anna Allah yuzji sahaban thumma yu'allifu baynahu thumma yaj'aluhu rukama fatara al-wadqa yakhruju min khilalih wa yunazzilu min as-sama'i min jibalin fiha min bard fa yusibu bihi man yasha'u wa yasrifuhu an man yasha' ikadu sana barqihi yadhhabu bil absar. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is describing in the first part of the verse how um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes clouds move gently, then joins them together, right? And then he compiles them together and he causes rain to come out from within them. Now in the second part of the verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَيُنَزِّلُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ The same concept that he sends from the sky, مِنْ جِبَالٍ فِيهَا مِنْ بَرْضٍ Right? So this is roughly translated as from mountains with ice inside of them. Right? So can we think of something that looks similar to a piece of a mountain with ice inside of them? Well, that exactly describes what comets and asteroids are, right? These are, you know, gigantic rocks that look like they're from pieces of the mountain, 
and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is fiha min barb. That inside of them there is ice, and ice is nothing but water. So in the first verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes that He sent um, water to the earth. But in this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is describing that they actually came in the form of comets. And that is exactly what scientists believe to be the case today. And this, these um, these rocks, they can strike whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills and they can miss whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ever wishes. And the last part is actually also very interesting. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, bil absar That this, this flash that comes from within these rocks, it almost blinds you, right? And let's let's take a look at what actually happens when um, these comets enter the Earth's atmosphere. This is something that I mentioned in the previous video as well, that the amount of friction, the amount of heat that is generated causes these comets to light up and burn up to the extent that it creates such a blinding light that you can see in the sky. And that is exactly how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described it when He says, يَكَالُوا سَنَا بَرْقِهِ يَذْهَبُوا بِالْبْصَارِ so subhanAllah, putting these two verses together in the context of recent scientific discoveries gives us all the answers that we need. That no, we understand that the water didn't originate from the earth, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rather sent it in the form of these asteroids to earth. Now there's one more example that I want to highlight and that just shows the um, the makeup, the, the, the nature of creation and the fact that it contains a lot of water inside of them, right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes this in Surah Al-Anbiya in the 17 Jews of the Quran. He says, أَوَلَمْ يَرَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا أَنَّ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ كَانَتَا رُسْقًا فَفَتَقْنَاهُمَا وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيْءَ فَلَا يُؤْمِنُونَ That do those who, do not those who disbelieve see that the heavens and earth were once meshed together and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ripped them apart. فَفَتَقْنَاهُمَا وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيْءَ أَفَلَا يُؤْمِنُونَ And then we made of water every living thing. أَفَلَا يُؤْمِنُونَ Would they still not believe? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describing that every single thing is made up of water. And that is something that we know is true today. You know, with the advent of modern biology, we have proven the fact that the body is actually made up of majority water. Right, more than uh, around 70% of the body actually is made up of water. And Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes this fact 1400 years ago in the Quran when He says, وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ أَفَلَا يُؤْمِنُونَ So subhanAllah, you know, something as simple as water, you know, something that we take for granted, something that is around us each and every day in our lives. Yet there are so many signs that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put in water itself. So if we take the time to reflect upon it and think about where did this actually come from? Think about how much of a benefit it is for us. Think of the fact that our bodies are self, themselves are made up of water. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this blessing for us to reflect and to ponder upon. And you know we should use this as a means for us to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ponder upon His signs. وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته